Today I will show you how to set up a Blink example for this board in Microchip Studio 7. So let's get started. So first of all we will create a new project which is GCC C executable. Then the device family and the chip itself. Okay, so we have a bare minimum of uh, just initialization of the clocks. We can build that and it will compile. So we would like to add uh, GPIO support and uh, delay routines. So we will have to add uh, it through the ASF wizard. We just have to add the project for this. It will take a while to load. Okay, so now we will have to add the board for pin definitions. And it will create a new main file. Okay. So now we will add the delay routines. And apply. Okay, so now going to the main, uh, we need to get this func function into our new main file, which is right here. And now we need to delay the old one. Okay, uh, we need also to make a few corrections. It doesn't build. And we will have to add declarations of this, which is not declared in the ASF. Just simply copy that in, on top of the function. And the second one, it is right here. Definition of uh, key missing. And we got it up here. Also copy. And we can put this on top of that. But still, we will have errors which are multiple definitions of functions. And this is the case. We have those functions out here. But we also have those functions right here in these files. So we can delete those. And still we have few functions left. And after this, it works. Okay, so now we can add uh, uh, code for initializations of delay and uh, GPIO. So for delay, it is just simply delay in it. Okay, and for the GPIO, <coughs> we got to go for drivers which are here 
and we click PIO and the header file. And if we go uh, down the file, we will see uh, examples of implementation. And we will need this for initializations of uh, the peripheral clock for the pins we will use. So just copy this and we can put it right here. So the let on this board is the uh, PIOB port. We don't need the input, just output B. And it is the B27. Okay. Now we will add another loop. And in this loop we can copy this function. Okay. Put a delay of milliseconds. For example, 500. Okay, copy this and we will set it to high. Okay, now we will just build it. No errors, just some warnings. Okay, uh, now to um, get the program flashed. Uh, we will have to use a program which is called BOSA. In order to get the port, we need to click uh, erase and uh, reset buttons on the board itself. So let's just do that. We click first erase and then reset and release the erase. So. Now we can refresh and select the COM port. And now we go to our application, which is this. Debug, we select the bin file and click the erase and boot to flash options. Okay. And now we need to reset the board. As you can see, it blinks.